Welcome, you're listening to the Do Video Podcast. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021, and it's the day to celebrate Golden Retrievers, the lovable bundle of golden fur that loves us unconditionally. Now, embrace your host, Zoe Wood, the Video Confidence Coach. Editor Zoe here, taking over the podcast voice over today. I want to talk about message overwhelm, because I realized right now, that's where my brain is at, where I just have all these ideas and topics that I want to get out that I need to get out. While working on my client work, and feeling a little bit overwhelmed by that and just everything happening at once. Plus, being sick probably doesn't help either, and realizing that that would happen for you too. As in when you feel overwhelmed about what you could possibly do, what you could possibly say, in your videos, as well as just content and social media content in general. What do I say? Why do I say it? How do I say it? And where do I even begin? With everything feeling overwhelming, and your ability to search or retrieve any piece of information by just picking out a little tiny device out of your pocket, and just by touching a couple of keys, automatically you can have the world of resource right in front of you information. It can feel a bit disheartening. When you're trying to put out new ideas, new messages, new content out into the world and feeling like am I even budging the needle? Am I even making that step? Am I even doing good for my clients? Because feeling like you're overwhelming people, as well as overwhelming yourself is no good. Previous to 2018, when I was running my previous business, I would have a tendency of helping my clients, even though they would hire me to do the videos, I would end up being their marketing pre-production, production, production, post-production as well as distribution model, like an advisor, and it's a job that I ended up relishing at the end. But when I first started out, I didn't enjoy it because that's not what I signed up for, I was not being paid for that part of the job, that amount of work. So you can understand my frustration, in the end. But looking at these people, they you know, they had an idea that they need to have a video on Spyfix subject, for example. And then from there, they would go out find me, contact me, bring me in. And we would have a consultation session, about half an hour where I would sit down with them and go, okay, you want to achieve a goal, let's break it down. What exactly do you want to say? So it's not a case of we want you to come in, and buy our sofa bed. We need to get to the root cause of why people would use a bed, more importantly a bed purchased from you. Are you is your niche focusing on people in pain? Is your niche focusing on the elderly? Is your niche focusing on new home buyers? Therefore, people don't need new bed to feel fresh, like, where are you going? What is your direct reasoning for all this? And the reason I would do this is because being able to understand who your audience is and why they are buying from you, it gives you a clear idea of what is your message and why you need to focus on these things starting off, and then you can break down other things as you go along. Most of the time from these marketing execs, or just, you know, personal assistants of people that have hired me in the first place, would just give me blank expressions or look down at the table, with me just looking at them, feeling like I could see the cogs in their heads turning, that look they needed to come up with an answer quickly, where they would not seem stupid. And when I first started this, not because I assumed everyone knew what I thought, and I understood that the reason that they are bringing me in as an expert is because I know this stuff that is fine. But what shocked me a little bit was that their inherent thought of, are you going to make me seem stupid for not knowing the answer to this question? And by the end of my time on running on that business, I pivoted whenever I asked that question, I got that response. I used my knowledge and my background and research of the company to be able to provide a couple of useful customer avatars and some useful niches that people could go for. So the type of person that these companies could go for and I just you know threw them at them and they automatically say, yep, that's it, you got it. And my thought would be I am not in your business, but I like your enthusiasm. And that's what I would be doing. Sponsored Spot I hope you're enjoying the podcast and you're not totally turned off by my AI voice. Hopefully I will sound much better next week. I am here telling you to review us on Apple Podcasts via the internet because we get seen by reviews and if you have enjoyed the Do Video Podcast or you have enjoyed what we say and how we say it be even me or so we with the Video Confidence Coach, then make sure you review by following the link in the description or in the show notes associated with this podcast. All right, back to the podcast. You're listening to the Do Video Podcast. 
So then from there, we'll be able to break down a lot easier that yes, maybe they got me in initially to make a video on this or that theme or topic. In this lovely example could easily be you know their new team member, or it could be about their new product, or their new service, or you know showcasing them in an event or what have you. Whatever the reason was the message, and feeling of overwhelm, very much dawned upon them. As soon as I broke down the idea of okay, the reason that you are doing this, what is your main motivating factor? For a lot of these companies, it was, our competitors have done it. So we need to do it as well, which, I guess is a choice. I don't like how your competitors are dictating your market direction. But nonetheless, it's your business, you do what you want. But for the people that really did a lot of research about the subject, and said, we want to do this video to showcase to people that we are human. So that when you call to complain to our staff about something that we all may or may not have had control over, treating us like a faceless, nameless, humanless corporate identity as a whole can be quite off-putting for people that work here. And once I knew that, I was able to give them a much better video and the end product, being able to touch on all the things that they wanted to, because I had a clear understanding of all right, our main message of this video is that our staff are human. And that was a dramatic shift from what they asked initially at the start. And the reason I told you this lovely story was because this works the same for you. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed about what do I say, what do I say, what do I make a video about, it can just that overwhelmed just in general can be quite off-putting and quite scary. And having that message overwhelmed when it comes to your content or your strategy can be even more scary. Being able to start off, and even if you've been creating video content, and podcasts and social media, and if you've been creating stuff so far, don't worry, this still applies to you. I want you to focus on what really matters. Now this may sound a bit cliche, but focusing on why people should buy from you and of course, as many answers to that question, but figuring out for yourself where to start. Do people know who you are? Do people know what you stand for? Do people know what your values are? And then figuring out message remembering one video equals one message being able to break it down into something that is achievable for you and something that says okay i want to be able to produce two videos a month okay to do that i need to have a strategy of answering the questions that and this can be argued that type of example it's a question that your grandmother would ask you or your mother's friend or something of that nature where someone who doesn't entirely know what you do or why you do it the questions that they would ask are very basic and very forthcoming when it comes to talking about your particular job or industry or even why you hold the position you're called being able to break it down into those simple messages and there are simple answers to simple basic questions and you can relate this to another video which will be down in the description if you want to hear more about that and breaking it down into basics but being able to corral was overwhelmed by having a direction is to make your life a lot easier a lot simpler and even for myself right now I've been having a little bit of that of yes, I've got something like almost 150 opportunities in 2021 to speak a message to say something. And I feel overwhelmed by that opportunity that I've given myself to create a podcast three times a week and create two videos a week feeling overwhelmed, thinking what have I done, but also feeling like, what do I say? How do I say it? And where do I even begin? And this is where I begin by taking the opportunity to look at it as, oh, I handle everything, of course, but to be able to just speak from the heart, be able to answer questions that I've been receiving over the past couple of days, even when working with clients who just feel overwhelmed by this position, this job, this project that they've been thrust into by either their employers themselves or just what the market dictates. Being just thrust into this avenue in this world can be quite jarring and quite off-putting, but just because something is difficult to start with doesn't mean it isn't rewarding in the end. It's like knitting or playing an instrument or gardening, you're not going to see immediate return straight away. You're not gonna say immediate growth from seeds that you just planted. Same thing with video. When you first start doing video, it feels like you're adding to a cacophony of noise that's happening on the internet. And there's just so much happening. Maybe in your industry, there is so much out there already. What do I have to say that hasn't already been said? You have your opinion. You have your thoughts, you have your knowledge, you have your wisdom, because you are an expert in your industry, in your particular niche, and you'll find little bitty space that you take up on this existence to help people that you set out to help people with your personal brand, need to focus on what really matters. And then once you have covered the basic questions that people who know nothing about your industry ask you or like I said the test of either you know, a grandmother or a distant relative, when they ask you questions at your next family gathering whenever that may be, being able to have the knowledge that will be able to answer this and you'll be able to answer it in plain words. 
not use any industry jargon, which I have been trying to do less of when I speak. Unfortunately, it's a habit that I've picked up through following gurus and entrepreneurs and it's a habit that I will eventually get myself out of because I am cognizant of it. But there is a little bit of a habit of just like keep falling into this but just taking a step back and looking at the big picture of where exactly you want to go, what exactly do you want to do, and reducing that overwhelm into opportunities. Yes, you could talk about having dogs sleeping on the bed reduces the effectiveness of your bed over time. For example, going back to my sofa bed example from earlier, or you could answer the question about why should I invest in an expensive bed, full stop. It seems like a basic question. Again, going with the analogy that at the start, being able to answer basic questions is something that while building your brand, you're going to answer a lot of if you're able to have any way of answering the questions. Why not just cover it in a video, be able to have a clear focus of why you're doing what you're doing. Have a clear focus of your message. Yes, you have the opportunity to talk about industry, news updates, and things of that nature. And of course, you will, if something has caught your attention that you need to speak about now, then yes, of course, speak about it. But when it comes to your options of what you have the ability to say, break it down to its most basic parts, and then break it down even further, and then you will have your message, your one thing that you want to tell people. It can be one sentence, it could be a couple of words, and the rest of that video is explaining why you're saying this couple of words, but feeling the overwhelm that you do, from your ability and your positivity and your opportunity to say whatever you want, because that's what freedom is, can feel a bit jarring and overwhelming. But many have stand where you stood, and I'm even there too, so if you feel like you're in that position right now, why not reach out to me? Reach out to Zoe with the Video Confidence Coach and let's brainstorm some basic questions together because I'm interested to know how can you help people. What do you do? How do you serve them? Well, we can break down some basic questions together. You'll hear me at the next do video podcast. Hopefully you'll hear me by. Before we end the podcast, I would like to acknowledge and pay respects to the Wadarung people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians and owners of the land on which I produce this podcast. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I stand with the traditional custodians of these lands in working towards a more equal future. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people continue to face discrimination and disadvantage due to our country's colonial past. I stand with them in their fight against injustice. The Do Video Podcast and Video Confidence Coach exist purely for educational purposes and all information provided is of a general nature and should not be solely relied upon to make a branding decision. That's why you get me to consult with you directly. Wink, wink. My email is pod at vcc.training if you're interested. I ask if you like the show to subscribe and give me five shining stars on your review on your podcaster of choice. And join the Video Confidence crew by following me on my socials. Links in the show notes below.